Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you exactly how to download and install Bane Miner for Minecraft 1.15.1. We're going to be going over every single step of getting Bane Miner in Minecraft 1.15.1 from basically downloading it to installing it to adding it to Minecraft. It's all, it's all going to be, it's all going to be in this video. I'm even going to show you how to like, you know, set it up in game and change your, your Bane Miner like basically button and all of that. It's all going to be covered in this video. First and foremost though, I do want to mention that we are actually installing or excavation here. That's because Vein Miner hasn't been updated to Minecraft 1.15.1, but our excavation has, and they're the exact same thing. They literally work the exact same way. So you don't have anything to worry about. This is going to work just as Vein Miner worked, even down to like pressing a button, holding down your, your mouse, and being able to remove tons of dirt and everything in addition to just, you know, veins of ores like coal and things like that. So it allows you to chop down trees faster, bulk harvest, excavate almost any blocks. So you can even harvest like a bunch of carrots or potatoes at one time. All of that works. You can blacklist tools or, or uh, like blocks and items, all sorts of stuff here. Even for servers, it has a built-in TPS guard. Basically, if you're running this on a server, you don't have to worry about it like killing your server and making it lag a ton. So all of that is awesome and something that is just incredible about this plugin. So that is what this plugin does. But before we get it installed, we do have a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. You can check out Apex at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get an incredible 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends to enjoy. If you want to install or excavation on that server, you can do that very quickly and easily. And guess what? At Apex Minecraft Hosting, we love them so much, we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you so not only do we love Apex as a sponsor of the channel here, they also allow us to host our incredible 24-hour public Minecraft server on them as well. So if you're looking for a great place to start your own Minecraft server, have you and your friends play on it and enjoy it, Apex Minecraft hosting is the way to go. You can check out Apex at the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get Ore Excavation installed. The first thing you want to do is go to the second link down below. That's going to take you to this page you've been on the entire time. This is basically Ore Excavation's information and download page. So we come over here to the right-hand sidebar and scroll down. We'll see Minecraft 1.15 here. Under that, we'll have Ore Excavation, as you can see, and then we'll go ahead and click that purple download button under the Minecraft 1.15 section of the recent files area. Once you click on that purple download button, it will take us off to a page where we have to wait five seconds. After that five seconds is up, it will download automatically in the bottom left, but we'll need to keep this file, and it's 100% safe as long as it says Ore Excavation in the title, which ours does, so we can go ahead and click Keep on it. On Mozilla Firefox, it's going to pop up in the center of your screen, and you're going to need to save the file. It is safe to save as long as it's says or excavation in the title. And we aren't done downloading just yet. We still need to download Forge because Forge is required for your basically or excavation mod and vein miner mod to work, right? Vein miner is not going to work if you don't have Forge because it runs off of Forge. So nevertheless, we can go to the third link down below and it's going to take you here. This is our in-depth tutorial on downloading and installing Forge, but we're going to be going through all this in the video. However, if I go a bit too fast or you have an issue, this article most likely will fix that for you. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and click on the green download Forge button here. When we click on that, it will go ahead and take us off to Forge's official website where we want to make sure we're downloading the 1.15.1 version version of Forge. As you can see here, MC1.14.4, that's not correct. So what you want to do is come over here to the left-hand sidebar, click on the plus on 1.15, click on 1.15.1 there, and then we'll see MC1.15.1 right here. Once you see that there, you can come under download latest and click on the installer button. Once you click on that installer button, it will take us out to add focus. Stop! Don't click anything on this page. Wait six seconds. Don't click anything. No, it's not ready. It's lying to you. Stop it. All you want to do is click on the button in the top right, that red skip button in the top right. Once you click that red skip button, it will download in the bottom left, right? So click that red skip button in the top right. That's it. Don't click anything else on this page. Then your download will begin in the bottom left. It should ask you to save the file and it should be Forge. If it says Forge in the title, you are good to go ahead and keep the file you downloaded. Same thing on Mozilla Firefox. It's open up in the center of your screen and you'll need to go ahead and save the file in the center of your screen as long as it says Forge in the title on Mozilla Firefox. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser and on our desktop we have Forge and or Excavation also known as Bane Miner. Now if these aren't on your desktop, no worries, they're in your downloads folder and to find them in your downloads folder all you need to do is go to the little windows icon. For me it's in the top left of my screen, for you it's probably in the bottom left of your screen. But click on that little windows icon in the top or bottom left of your screen and then when you click on that go ahead and type in downloads right like so. Once you have the downloads 
folder here, go ahead and click on it, and in here you'll find Ore Excavation and Forge. Drag them to your desktop just for ease of use. Now we're gonna be starting off here with Forge. So go ahead, right click on Forge, click on Open With. Then you should have Java TM Platform SC Binary, and if you do, go ahead and click OK. But what if you don't, or what if you do and it just doesn't work? Well, we've got a solution for you, and that solution is linked in the description down below. That is our in-depth guide on how to download and install Java for Minecraft mods and servers. We're installing a Minecraft mod, so it makes sense that it would be here and that it would be up and working. So basically, how to install Java for Minecraft mods, right here it is. Go through this in-depth tutorial here. We have the text tutorial as well as a very in-depth video tutorial. So depending on which one you want, you can go through that and get everything set up and working. We've helped nearly one million people get Java for Minecraft, so pretty cool stuff there. However, if you do install Java using this tutorial and it still does not work, what do you do? Is it over? Can you not get Vein Miner? No, you can get Vein Miner. All you need to do is download and install the jar fix here. And not only download and install the jar fix, what you specifically need to do is come over here and run the jar fix and go through this tutorial. You're not installing anything with the jar fix. All you're doing is making all the .jar files on your computer work with Java once again. So there you have that. Get that up and running. And now we can go ahead and minimize our browser and install Forge. To do that, go ahead and again, right click on it. Click on Open With, click on Java TM Platform SC Binary, and click OK. Then we'll go ahead and open up the Mod System Installer for Forge. All you need to do here is click on Install Client and click OK. Now it will download, install, do everything it needs to do in order to get Forge installed. The only reason that this would not work is if you haven't ran vanilla Minecraft 1.15.1, meaning you haven't played Minecraft 1.15.1 at all whatsoever. If that's the case, go play Minecraft 1.15.1, come back here, and it will work. Nevertheless, as you can see, successfully install Client Profile Forge version 1.15.1. Awesome. Go ahead and click OK there. And now we can get Ore Excavation installed. This has never been easier than in Minecraft 1.15.1. You see, we would have to go in, we would have to open up the run application and type in a code and then go into the .minecraft folder, but Forge has made it extremely easy in Minecraft 1.15 plus, adding in an open folder button. So let's go ahead, open up the Minecraft launcher, but before you slam that play button, you wanna make sure you've got the correct profile selected. So as you can see here, we don't. If we click play right now, we won't be able to install or excavation. What we need to do is click on this little drop down box, see this little arrow to the left of the play button, and then click on the forge profile. So we're gonna click on that and then click play. But what if you don't have a Forge profile? What if that's not there at all, right? So if you do have it, there you go, click play. If you don't have it, what do you do? You click on installations up here, and then you wanna go ahead and create a new profile. So to do that, you wanna click the plus new button right here. Now you can name this profile whatever you want. I'm gonna name it play.breakdowncraft.com though. Why am I naming it that? Because that is our grief protected 24 hour Minecraft server. Basically we have a survival Minecraft server that again is 100% grief protected. It is survival, we have Medieval survival with over 30 custom quests in it and aquatic survival with an incredible slash shop based economy. We also have our Skyblock server with OP enchants, custom islands, custom plugins, and just tons and tons and tons of awesome stuff. So come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. I cannot wait to see you online. Now once you've got your name entered there, we want to come under latest version, and here you will see Minecraft 1.15.1-Forge. We have a few versions here. I'm going to go with the one closest to the top. That's pretty much what you should do as well. Go ahead and click on that one closest to the top. You might have to scroll down a bit farther, by the way, to find yours, but ours is right here at the top. And then just go ahead and click Create. I am going to add a hair more RAM to Minecraft, and then we can click Create down there. Now we can go ahead and click the Play button on our newly created play.breakdowncraft.com profile. As you can see, it did say 1.15.1-Forge there. If yours doesn't, no problems. Once Forge and Minecraft have opened here, we'll be able to install or excavate. Now, the only downside of that is we will have to reopen Forge, but you don't have to create that profile again if you had to do that. And if you didn't, you've just been sitting here waiting for me to get to the point where we install the mod. So thank you for sticking around, and we're about to finally do that. So once we're on the Minecraft main menu here, it's pretty easy to install or excavation. All we need to do is click on the Mods tab right here. See that Mods tab? Click on that, and then down here in the bottom left, we have this Open Mods Folder button. See that? That Open Mods Folder button there? Click on that, and guess what that's gonna do? Open your Mods Folder. Now actually, I already have a few mods installed there, and no problem whatsoever about that. Just delete those so we can add these in. But what we wanna do is take Ore Excavation, drag and drop it into our mods folder. Now, at this point, it won't be here. It is for me because I already had it installed because I didn't prepare for this tutorial correctly, but nevertheless, it won't work, right? What you need to do is restart Minecraft. So close out of Minecraft, 
open up the Minecraft launcher again, and then right here, just click play, right? Again, you wanna make sure that the 1.15.1-4's profile is selected, ours is, and then click play. Now when you open up Minecraft, or excavation will be installed, no problem. As you can see, right there it is, complete deep scan of or excavation. That's it enabling, getting everything done that it needs to get done to open your newly installed or excavation or vein miner mod. So at that point, vein miner is installed, no issues whatsoever, it is good to go. Once we're in the game, I will open it up in Minecraft to show you that it is in fact working. So here we are, we can click on mods, there is or excavation, no doubt that one's installed, but we can go ahead and click on single player. I know this says no mods for 115, but you know what? We're being a rebel today. We're jumping right on into our no mods world because I know Vein Miner won't leave anything to uh, to basically mess with us. So one of the things I always like to do, we can spawn in some bees here. That is proof that it is in fact 1.15. We can also do uh, time set day just because I want it to be daytime. Now let's go ahead and see what basically button that or excavation is going to use. So by default, if you click escape and then click options and then click controls and scroll all the way down to the bottom, you will see the or excavation plugins basically or buttons that you need to do. You can toggle it on and off with V, but you can use the excavate key to excavate. By default, this is next to the one and above the tab key on your keyboard. However, I always like to change mine to G because G is not mapped in Minecraft and it's a lot easier for me than that basically tilde up there. So let's go ahead and press G to set the excavate button and then we can go ahead and click done. Now if we come back into Minecraft, I'm gonna give myself a few things. All diamond, of course, so we're gonna get ourselves a diamond shovel, a diamond pickaxe, a diamond axe, and that, that'll be good enough. Then we're gonna go into survival, of course. And now if we go ahead and I press my vein miner button, which is going to be G, and hold that down, it does mine all of that at one time knocking it down. Stupid creeper. All right, now we wanna come over here and do the same thing. Press G, right? Press G and mine this one. We have a data pack installed. That means creepers won't hurt us, so it's pretty cool. And then this one again, we can press G and boom, all of that is gone in one blow. They're everywhere. But what is more interesting is the fact that we can do this with grass. So if we go ahead and press G here, boom. <laughs> all of that grass is taken out with just one click. Same thing with dirt, press G, all of that dirt taken out with just one click. If you want to get rid of an extraordinarily long, like large area, boom, vein miner is the way to go. So we are doing this by just holding our vein miner key basically and um, you know, getting that to work. Let me go ahead and give myself some steak real quick. And does steak not work anymore? Does it have to be cooked beef? There we go. So let's go ahead and do that. That way I can eat and then we'll be we'll be good to go. So there's mobs everywhere. All right, so now let's go ahead and show this off with some uh, with some diorite and andesite here. So we go ahead and press our vein miner key and then mine that. It's gonna mine all of the diorite. It only mined diorite, right? Only mined the diorite, didn't mine anything else there. Same thing with this coal, boom. Only gonna mine that coal because, well, yeah. Now we can go ahead and mine all of this stone as well by pressing, oh, there's why, there's a mob spawner. That's pretty cool actually. Was not prepared for this though. Hold on, let me go ahead and go into creative. I might die here, there we go. All right, was not prepared for that. But nevertheless, you kind of get the idea. Just all you need to do is hold the vein miner key and then mine, and that's that. It's going to work, that's all you need to do. So um, yeah, if you all have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It really helps us out and it means a ton to me. Thank you very, very much in advance for doing that. Nevertheless, come play with us on play.breakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, and enjoy the Ore Excavation mod. My name is Nick, and I am out. Peace.